I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cougars. Today is Thursday, May 16th. Welcome to SCTV News. I'm Cooper Mulpey. And I'm Amia Grant-Hicks. Our Cougar softball team is preparing for a trip to San Marcos for their next CIF playoff game. The game will be a challenge because the Knights have won the Open Division Championship last year. But if the Cougars can pull off another road victory, they will advance to the Division I quarterfinals this Saturday. The San Marcos game should be very good. We should, or hopefully we'll win, because they did win last year in Open Division. And this year is D1, so hoping for the best. Well, I feel really good about it since we were open division with them last year, and we did play the team that they were up against in the finals, so it should be a really good game. Uh, very prepared. Uh, yesterday was the single elimination, one and done, and they came out and hit two home runs, played excellent defense, excellent pitching against a good team. Uh, so I think we, um, I really like our chances going forward. We've played most of the teams that are left in the Division One bracket, and we beat most of them. So I, I think we are the, if we're not the team to beat, we're definitely uh, maybe one or two of the teams to beat. We have two minimum days scheduled next week, on Monday and Tuesday. This change is in place to give 12th graders time to present their senior exhibitions. But that doesn't mean seniors can skip school. You still need to go to class each day next week. In addition, Mr. Tyler has some helpful advice for all seniors. Hey seniors, uh, Mr. Tyler here. I want to talk to you about what you need to know in order to do well on the senior exhibition that is next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. First and foremost, all of you need to go back to the senior exhibition page and look at the judging schedule. Uh, there are 24 unfortunate seniors that did not pass their binder and have been removed and you want to make sure to know whether you are one of them. If you scroll all the way to the bottom of that list, after not finding your name, you will find ID numbers next to a to be determined list of students because we don't have that date for your makeup yet. From now on, your government teachers are not who you go to unless I'm your government teacher. Anyone that has not passed their binder needs to come and see me, Mr. Tyler, in room K105. Get that binder checked off and then you'll be given your date and time where you will end up doing your makeup. Next week, we have our presentations on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. All seniors that are presenting, your presentations are due, Google slide form, share them with your teacher, your lead judge, the day before, that's the school day before you present. So if you're presenting on Monday, you're gonna turn it in on Friday. Suggestion, after you've shared it with them, go to them and actually make sure that they've received it in their mailbox, have them open it for you so you are ready to go on Monday. If you present on Tuesday, you'll be turning yours in on Monday, and if you present on Wednesday, you'll be turning yours in on Tuesday. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to come see me, Mr. Tyler, or your Gov Econ teacher regarding what you need to do to be prepared. Raw Raw Cougars, Cougar Pride, get some. Seniors are also invited to the baccalaureate ceremony before they graduate. You will receive an RSVP card in class this week. The deadline to RSVP is next Friday. The event is designed to honor this year's graduating class and seniors are required to wear caps and gowns. Baccalaureate is the Sunday before graduation. The date is June 2nd and it will be at St. Luke's in El Cajon. The final performance of our dance and show choir spring concert is tonight. Tickets are still available and you can purchase them through a link on our website. The show gets underway at 7 p.m. tonight in our theater. Our own Mrs. LaBella has a chance to win Theater Teacher of the Year, but she needs your help. She was nominated for the SDCCU Best Local Theater Teacher Award. You can vote for Mrs. LaBella through our website. Just click on the link on our front page and then follow the link to vote for her. Voting closes on Friday, so vote today and every day this week. Fish tacos can help the sophomore class. The Rubio's near our campus is hosting a fundraiser tomorrow after school. So visit the restaurant and a portion of your purchase will go to the class of 2021.
Steel Canyon's Mido Action Club invites you to join a contingent of Cougar staff and students at the Mido 5K Run and Walk this weekend. The race begins this Saturday morning at NTC Park at Liberty Station. The money raised during the race will go to fund research into mitochondrial disease. The race is always a good time with plenty of entertainment and vendors. You can find more information on our website. Cheer trials begin today and run through Saturday in the mezzanine. You must have a parent signed application to participate. That's all the news we have for you today. Have a great Thursday. Raw Raw Cougars. Cougar Pride. Get, Get some. some.